Kia ora, welcome to History 128 and a special welcome to the international students who decided to stay. Okay, this video I'm putting on YouTube to take you through the assessment criteria for the course and to explain to you how we're going to assess the tutorials because the tutorial assessment will now wait as 50% for the course because it's replaced the exams. That's the good news. And the better news, the tutorials are going to be really quite interesting. But it depends, all of this is dependent on how we engage with IT and communicate. So this is going to be the longest video. Now I know we have to keep it short, but under 10 minutes, if I get to 7 minutes, I'll be happy. I want to walk you through uh, with the system of how the tutorials work. Point you need to know, beneath this, the YouTube link will be a keynote file for the Mac users. And if you're a Word user, use the PDF file to go in association with this. And take this as a general introduction to tutorials, how they're going to work. So on page two, uh, I take you through the assessment. Um, your work will be assessed according to these lines. Sorry, I should introduce myself. Tamaire is my, my name. I'm the lecturer, co-lecturer with Professor Philip Main smith Okay, so... Introductions out of the way. <laughs> Welcome. Let's go through the um, the assessment criteria. Um, you're expected to do two essays. Um, both essays are worth 25% each, which means 50% in total. The remaining 50% is the tutorial work, and the tutorial work is sectioned off into three areas, really two. The first two, or the first one, is you're required to provide two answers online in terms one and two. So you will go through your tutorial booklet and you will choose a tutorial that you want to lead and provide an answer for. Okay, And that means you answer the questions and respond formally um, in both answers. Now each answer is worth 10%. So that's 20% because you'll be doing two answers. Everyone is respected to respond in your tutorial groups so that the responses will constitute 30%. So big weightings. And what I'm going to do now is take you through what this means. As I said, there's no exam. We're on page 3 of the document now. Now the purpose of the tutorials will be to develop your skills as historians. And that's really about, um, and as students within the humanities, and that's really about critical thinking. It's about understanding source information, the biases, the cultural gender biases of the document, how they're constructed, what drives thought. Don't get trapped into the, the old cliche and the, those arguments that really don't help when people say it's all about common sense, being sensible. If the world was about common sense, the world would be flat because that's what your senses tell you. Don't get trapped into the idea that history is about facts. Yeah, it's about facts, but facts align within a bigger thought and frame system of, of, of thought and ide ideology. Facts only have meaning when they reference back to something. Time today, 2011, isn't a fact. It's a social fact because it references back to the day the, the, the Son of God was born. But that's not a fact, that's an assumption. You could choose any other reference point in time for that. Okay? Don't get trapped into facts. Now the skills that we expect you to have and to develop in the tutorials are on page 4 of the document. Go through them. The tutorials are about developing skills and I've always wanted to, to, take, you, to take a course designed like that. The problem with exams is that, really, you swat up on stuff. It's, there's a big information download to us, the lecturers, and we have to work our way through quite often what's a lot of nonsense. Um, and you've forgotten it anyway, <laughs> right? Straight after you forget it. So it's skills that we want to develop, and page four will have those skills. The ones to concentrate on are really is your, your capacity to debate, argue, engage, and in a critical manner. It's critical thinking that we really want to assess. But also a respect for academic 
standards and you know how you engage with other students. That's why you need to check the videos that I put online about debating. And the three videos from Monty Python, um, Reservoir Dogs, about the idea of tipping, and Fox Television with Phil o uh, with O'Reilly, Bill O'Reilly debating with Richard Dawkins. See what is a good debate. It's interesting out of those three videos. All right. The fifth page of the document um, it gives you what we expect. You're required to answer two tutorials, one answer in each term. Now, there may be one, more than one submission online, so students responding may respond to only one or to, to both or to more if there's three. Okay. But you'll be expected to go to your tutorial groups which have been chosen and check the learn website to see which, so check this, the website to see which tutorial group you're in. You'll, you will choose which tute you want to lead in each term and then you will submit your answer online. Now, each, each answer must be at least a page in length and no more than one and a half pages. So answer the questions and then submit your answers online for your tutorial group to respond and debate with. Check the tutorial page for what skills we want that we'll be grading for on the day. So take note of the skills and we'll grade you on that as well. Okay, choose your tutorial. We'll give you an option um, in the week which ones, which how you'll do that. Then um, submit your answers. Remember, each answer is worth ten percent. Now the response is worth thirty percent. Then here's what happens: you must all participate in the tutorials with a minimum of a hundred words for each class. Now you're your response does not need to be limited to one statement. Instead, you're, you need to engage with as many as you can within your tutorial group. Um, you need to submit your three best tutorial responses for grading. So every now and then, check the website and your tutorial group. Um, so submit your three best tutorial responses and we'll, we'll grade that. So throughout the end of the year, by the end of the the semester, choose the three best, we'll grade those at 30%. Now we're concerned with how you engage in debate and answer the, with the answer submitted online and how you engage with your, your colleagues in your tutorial group. Um, we'll be looking at how you critically assess information, uh, the evidence and how you react to alternative views. Watch the, um, the Monty Python video with uh, the bishops. And how react, right now, be aware comments aren't enough. It's not enough to say great, bad, whatever. They've got to be logical statements that engage. So simple comments don't put on. The next point in the points to watch, and this is the last page. Each tutorial will start on Monday morning, one minute past twelve, and will close twelve Sunday night, midnight. And the person with the responsibility of submitting an answer has to do so by 12 o'clock Monday at night, midnight, okay? Midnight. All answers and responses will be graded as formal pieces of writing. Now, these are formal statements. They're not notes, right? Because this is replacing the exam. So this is where the skills come in. It's your capacity to submit and summarize and respond formally. So you've got to check your spelling and grammar. That's what it is. Now, if an answer is not submitted by 12 o'clock Monday at midnight, a 2% deduction will be made and repeated every Monday, every day until Wednesday morning, which will mean 6%. Now, if it's not submitted by then, you'll lose 10% and the tutor will take over the debate for the other students, and if there's other students, we won't need to take over the debate, right? Students who do not respond will fail that tutorial and will lose 10%, so you need to engage. And make sure your comments are precise and reasoned. Be interesting. We'll help you, and you know, we'll help you in your responses. We'll, we'll, we'll go through the grammar, we'll check the logic and reasoning that you use. 
So don't use informal language or respond as you would on Facebook or in your text messages. I think I know, laugh out loud, LOL, and all the rest of it. Don't put it on, right? Engage properly. These are tutorials. Now, most tutorials when that I've taken, it's really quite hard with some students don't engage. Um, some engage a lot, some don't, because it's the social, social interactions that are difficult with everyone. It should be easier online, okay? So engage, put your points forward. Um, don't flame anyone. The other thing is, we'll try to make appointments where we all engage and meet as a class throughout the year, probably at the Bush Inn or at Nancy's or something like that. We'll let you know online. The last point to know is the success of this working will be dependent on how you engage online. So put your comments down. Send us your points on how we can improve this and we'll respond as well. Okay? Right, kia ora. Keep on checking the website for updates.